The United Nations observes 23rd of June as International Widows' Day to draw attention to the voices and experiences of widows and to galvanize the unique support that they need. In keeping with this, the Widows and Orphans Support Society has drawn the attention of Nigerians to carry these set of people along in their daily living. For many women around the world, widowhood is a devastating loss which is magnified by a long-term struggle for basic needs, human rights and dignity. They may be denied inheritance rights to what they relied on for livelihood or evicted from their homes, fussed into unwanted marriages or traumatizing rituals. In commemoration of this day, this group says it is time to celebrate widows and encourage them to work harder. Convener of the group, Dr. Tayo Thomas and his partner, speaks more on widows' plight. Our biggest objective is to take the widows, the African widows, out of poverty and take, take them to a stage where they will be a blessing to other widows. Today we want to encourage our women not to be discouraged irrespective of what they are facing and to make use of what they have learned both in the past and what they will learn today to establish themselves and become women of substance. With their theme thriving in hard times and to show more support on behalf of the United Nations, the group did not relent in awarding some deserving individuals who have shown passion for humanitarian services. God orchestrated it. I'm a lover of widows and orphans. I like in any little way I can to be a blessing to the, those set of people. For me, that's part of me to give. And uh, I'm part of such group uh, in most places. May God give every leader in Nigeria the heart to give to the ordinary person in the society. Some of the widows share some of their experiences. So since two years, I lost my husband. So since then, nobody to take care of my, my children. I have six, six children. I have four children. It's God that be taking care of me. My children, I don't see anybody, no family, no anybody, but God is with me. I've been a widow for about 15 years. When I lost my husband, um, the people from the village, they sent um, some people, some delegates to come to my house to view what we had, to collect what they could collect. International Widows Day works to encourage action in achieving full rights for widows, highlighting the need for more research and statistics into violence, discrimination and poverty suffered by widows, and develop policies and programs to address the problem. Destin Momo for PLUS TV Africa. Well, joining us to discuss the International Widows' Day and the challenges these women face is Jennifer Omotaya Thomas. She is the Vice President, Widows and Orphans Support Society of Africa. Hello, Mrs. Thomas. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Okay. So can you tell us more about the theme for this year's commemoration by the United Nations? Um, but thank God it was a huge success. Um, celebrating the women and their children. Today's celebration is all about the widows and, and their children because we all know all the troubles that women go through when their husband died. And we want to give hope to these women so that they will know that they have people they can rely on and help them to become better women in the society. So that's why we, uh, today is set aside by the United Nations to celebrate widows. And we were able to help the women to learn different skills so they can feed themselves and as well as their children. Okay. We hear of sordid ordeals in terms of cultural demands. Uh, has the narrative changed over the years? 
can hear you clearly. Yeah, you know, the sordid ordeals we've heard about that uh, have been meted, you know, on women, especially widows, has the narrative changed over the years? Uh, well, I don't think um, culturally it's been changed because we see the same thing happening over and over and over, where women are made to marry someone they don't like or they are chased out of their homes because their husband is dead. The program today is centered on encouraging the women having an identity, whether their husbands are alive or not. So as a woman, you should have your own identity, run your own business outside the family business. So even when the man is no more, you can still stand on your own, be an independent woman. So that's what the program is all about, equipping, equipping the women to stand out in the society. Okay, in terms of policy framework, how do we push, you know, how, how do we push for stronger laws that would uh, surmount some of the challenges women go through in terms of disinheritance and other issues? Well, on that ground, we need to look at some of these um, cultures and abolish them because a lot of them are not making sense. I've seen a situation where a husband died and the woman was chased out with three children. And the family of the man took over the house, not minding what the children will go through. And the woman that is shattered after losing her husband. So I think some of these um, cultures that is not making sense should be abolished. And if we really love our, our self and love our neighbors, we should not be punishing someone because our husband is dead. Death is inevitable. It can affect both old or young. There are cases where the wife dies even before the husband. Do they chase the man out? So why should it be that it's the woman that suffers? Why? I don't think it's right. So it is high time we look into all these funny cultures and abolish them and let there be equal rights for both the man and the woman. So and that's why we try to help them by equipping them to learn trade and also give them some loan or sometimes we give loans and sometimes we give money to start up businesses to enable them be independent. So all some of these cultures should be abolished. That cultures that are not making sense and are, are not helping the women, and as well as their husbands. When I mean, uh, sorry, as well as their children, when their husbands are dead, should be abolished. All right. Uh, on a final note, what are some of the special events that took place today in marking the day? For um, these widows, some of, the, some of the skills acquisitions we looked at, they were taught how to bake. They were taught how to make soap. They were taught so many skills that they can work on, and we normally give them money to start up. So, and we've we've done um, uh, some skills acquisition on the 29th of May before now. And for those who could not participate, we repeated it again so that they will all benefit and be able to do something for themselves. Well, thank you so much, Mrs. Jennifer Omotaya Thomas, Vice President, Widows and Orphans Support Society of Nigeria, for joining us uh, to celebrate the International Widows Day tonight. Thank you. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.